why be mindful, right? What are you trying to accomplish uh, under the heading of mindfulness? And, and uh, there I think it's helpful to be very clear what we mean by that word mindfulness. Sometimes what we're trying to accomplish is have kids be nicer to each other. Well, that's not necessarily mindfulness. Uh, for example, a, a burglar can be very, very mindful and not very nice to other people. Nice to people is a, is a separate, distinct thing, right? So, but if you want to help people be able to get more control over their attention and to have more uh, metacognition, more self-monitoring, more real-time uh, regulation of, of what they're focusing on so they're less likely to get hijacked by their reactions, they're less emotionally reactive, which is, I think, a really common purpose. So, you know, very often in the classroom, what we really care about that's relevant are training attention so kids can pay attention. Paying attention is the front end of any kind of learning. Um, and second, so they have more control over their emotions and their impulses, regulation. So what I would go for, and what I think research generally suggests, is to do um, small, small practices repeatedly. A minute, a mindful minute. You know, you get the egg timer or something, you turn it over, you put the clock on, or you just challenge kids. I, I find it's useful to challenge kids. How long is the typical breath for a six-year-old or a 16-year-old? And then say, okay, let's, can you pay attention to four breaths in a row? That's probably a threshold where a lot of people can do that, but by the sixth breath, it's hard. So get three, or, get three breaths in a row. Okay, can you pay attention to six breaths in a row? And then nine or 12. Uh, challenge. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like I would do that, and that's just two minutes, really. But to do that once a day, that's an interesting one. Um, yeah, so I, th I think I'll, I'd rather have five minutes a day, five days a week, than 25 minutes as a block on Friday.